is up, everybody? We are here for the much awaited just camera bit. The much awaited Sons of the Force. Five hundred feet below the ground. Seven months ago. You're not gonna find anyone alive down there. Oh, that's the so it sounds like we are looking for this gentleman, his wife, and his daughter. Looking at the topographical map here. Uh, looks like we're going to have a time. Without further ado, let's get into it. Fight demons. Took some, uh, took some rounds. Starboard side windows. We're in free fall. Oh, that dude's gone. Help him? Oh, man. Okay, so, fun fact. This is interesting. And this is interesting because I already uh, played a, started a different game to look at, you know, get a feel for the controls and everything. Uh, this is a different start than what I had before. So, that's pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, no, MP412. Oh. Just got pistol whipped. <laughs> Alright, so we're waking up on the beach here. So first things first, let's talk to Kelvin. Hey Kelvin. Wakey wakey eggs and bakey buddy. So this is Kelvin. He is our NPC. Apparently one of many that you can find around, scattered around. Uh, it would appear that if he is not severely concussed, he at the bare minimum has a severe TBI which is a traumatic brain injury. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we are gonna tell him to stay here. All right, so first things first, we're gonna crack into our uh, handy dandy backpack here. We're gonna open up our survival kit. We got a guidebook, tactical axe, and a GPS tracker. Right, so looking where we're at after he holds it correctly, our helicopter crashed right there off the coast. Uh, let's take a little look around and see what we can gather here. So yeah, super cool that there's already a different uh, start going on here, and I'm finding different materials than I was able to find in the other start that I had, so that's pretty cool.
Got some seagulls here. <sighs> the beach feels like a pretty defendable location. Who we got over here on the pikes? Are these are brethren. Uh, they look military, judging from the clothing, but. Can't do anything with them. Basics of construction. Cool. This is definitely one of our guys. We're looking at the tag helmet. That one over there, I'm not super sure because of the whole skull helmet deal he had going on. Leave him alone! Uh, we cannot break them down. So, taking a little bit of a look-see around here. We appear to be on a beach I think before we would have started right there, you can't see where I'm pointing, uh, top right of the little screen where that cave entrance is, but now it would appear that we are somewhere to the south of that along the coastline. So I started in the mountains before, so this is a little bit, uh, a little bit different for me. That looks like a sealed up entrance, we're probably going to leave that sealed for right now. Skull collected. Alright, so. First things first. I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and start collecting some sticks. And get a baseline shelter set up. So I'm 100% going to make this a series. I don't care if it's successful or not as far as YouTube goes, but I absolutely love the original forest. Uh, so we are going to see what we can make happen here. I thought I just heard something. Uh, we are going to see what we can make happen here. Starfish! So we got some driftwood out in the water, which is pretty cool. Alright. We've got some basic supplies. We're going to go ahead and get a temporary shelter set up. Probably going to rove along the coastline. Oh, another box I missed. Some ammo for a sidearm we don't have. Looks like tech trash. I didn't open this one either. Oh, two bricks of C4. Alright, Calvin. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I recognize one of my marine brethren. Come along now. Ooh. What do we got here? Blueberries. So another thing that we need to go ahead and look for here is a, uh, a stream. And it looks like there's one a little bit upland a little bit. So that should be good for us. But we are going to go ahead and follow the handy dandy coastline here. And see what we can see. Turtle! A little. A little. <laughs> Toidos. Fuck ton of turtles. Alright. So we are gonna continue on our way here. And, uh, for those of you who don't know, Sons of the Forest. Uh, is a survival horror game. 
It's not just a survival game. Uh, the little play test that I did, I got... There was a couple times where I might have uh, made a less than a manly man shriek. Mayhaps. Another little seagull. Ooh, Perry. Uh, we got some graves, it looks like, over here. Yeah, we've got some graves. Uh, that's probably not too good. I love the lighting in this game. I'm just going to go ahead and say that now. It is most excellent. Come on, Calvin. Uh, I only did a very, very limited playthrough. I, not even a playthrough. Start in the original one. I like this forest. Uh, essentially, I started getting attacked by cannibals or tribal peoples very early on and I was fighting for my life. Kelvin ran off into the woods out of fear or something. So what I'm thinking is is we could control a bit of this coastline, especially where the rock is up here. And uh, we can make that work in our favor. I'm thinking. Uh, did I find I did so we're gonna go ahead and take that for the health regen Food's not too bad yet. We got some flares Looks like we got a kayak up here Oh, uh, we can use a kayak that'll be dope The one seater Kelvin you're getting left So anything of use here doesn't look like it. Pay no attention to the poor man who is are the two people. We got ourselves a watch. Can I use that watch? Time bomb. Oh lord. Uh, sun's still somewhat high in the sky. We got an MRE. Camouflage suit? Bruh. Where is it? Printer resin. What do we do with printer resin? Zip line rope. Skull. So I don't know where the camo suit went. But it's cool to know that we have one. Did I put it right on? I don't know. But we found a camo suit. That's pretty cool. Got some twine. Some twine. Looks like there's another canoe a little bit further up the beach here. So we're going to go check that out. energy bar and a circuit board but yeah so this is really cool okay so I don't know if there's just two different starts or one different start or what but like I said this is a different start from what I've initially done and also a different start from uh, what I've seen a couple of other youtubers that I watch play so premise was the same you had a crash so on and so forth. Uh, that dude pistol whips you. So now we're just uh, kind of exploring along the, uh, the tree line here to see what we can find. Or not the tree line, the coastline. Looks like there's a path up ahead that we'll probably check out.
can't carry any more rocks. What am I supposed to lean my MRA on? Uh, can I make a spear? Got a spear made. Um, what else do we have here? We don't have a rope, which is unfortunate. We do, however, have an energy drink. We can get a fire going. Is there fish in the shallows here? Doesn't look like it. Alrighty. So we're going to keep on our uh, merry little trek here along the uh, along the coastline. What's that? Is that another piece of driftwood? Or is that a... That looks like a crate to me. That's another piece of driftwood. I don't know if you can eat starfish, but if you could, that would surely be uh, helpful. There's a path up ahead that leads uphill, but I st I want to keep exploring the coast, at least until we get to that little uh, that looks like a tributary into the uh, mainland there. We got a little bit of trek ahead of us. I am gonna go ahead and move my camera back up to the top right. That way I can actually see my toolbar down there. Not toolbar, my mini map and whatnot. Uh, can I make... Hair tool. Stone arrow. Ah, where is my... Super suit. There it is. That and that. Now we don't have any rope. Alright. Is this the little path here? No, we passed the path. Come along, Kelvin. Another little path up here, though. I like the look of that ledge up there. Be careful. For the dog is full of terrors. Alright, so initial uh, viewpoint on the game. It's beautiful, man. The game is very, very pretty. Uh, from what I saw, the AI, I know we haven't encountered any yet. The AI, also really cool. I'm interested to see how the mechanics work of, like, fighting off the AI. That'll be an interesting time. Let's 
So basically, the premise of this game is there's no right or wrong way to play. There's a point of interest out up here in the water. We're gonna stop. We're gonna eat one of our protein bars here. We're gonna save the MRE for as long as we can. Alright, so I'm seeing that's the life raft we saw before uh, Heli went down. Sun's getting a little bit deeper into the sky there. So we're going to make our way up over here along these rocks. And uh, then we might swim out to that life raft and see what's over there. Do a little climb. Let's check our map. Let's see if there's anything crazy. Uh, so, looks like there's some stuff on sticks over here in the water. We're going to have a little look-see at that. Oh. Alright. So, it looks like we have Some mutants of some sort here, or maybe just uh, some tribal decorations. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Rope is what we want. Come on, Kelvin. Rope is indeed what we want. Can we cut these down? We can. Yeah, that's right, tribal peoples. I'm being disrespectful. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and create our club. Get that. We need you, and we need you. We've got our club set up. I mean that's a that's a win for me. Got another little boat here. With nothing of use around it. Alright, so it looks like the closest point is gonna be around the little bay here as to how we are going to get to that little life raft. Somebody lost their tins. We have a can of undisclosed meat. <laughs> or contents, rather. We don't even know that it's meat. I want to get over there regardless just so we can see what's going to be coming towards us. I don't particularly like the idea of making a little uh, encampment right out here in the open. It looks like we might have the setup for some fires that somebody was getting together. Not sure what that's all about, but can I light it? Because <laughs> I will. Oh, okay. Alright, so I'm not sure what the deal is with her. Toes walking. Yeah, Calvin, I'm freaked out too. It's cool. Oh, 
Nope, she's not digging it. Alright, bye lady. Come on, Calvin. Alright, looks like we got another boat. A couple of boats. Stuck here in the water. Can we drink this? We're gonna try. Awfully close to the salt. Alright. We got some more rope. That's good. We like that. Come on, Kelvin. It looks like she's following us. Looks like we got a little waterfall up there. Let's take a look at her map. It is getting pretty late. Looks like it's 509 in the game. 1709 military time. Jamming. We got another bar there, some batteries, another tarp. Pistol rail. Another watch. But where is your pistol, sir? We got a grenade. Alright everybody. That's our first first line of defense. Maybe it was him that was setting up the uh, little signal fires along the beach. Ah! Uh. Yeah! What a banger! All right. Sorry. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our initial little uh, camp set up here. So we're going to lay out our tarp. Lay out one for Calvin. So he's not feeling uh, left out. fire going and then I want to kind of get some uh, some other fires laid out up here just so I can kind of see what's coming before we get too far into the night and what's cool about this game is that fire actually ruins your night vision yeah Calvin get some rest in but when it's dark it is dark That should light our way for a bit there. <laughs> Chase the birds away. So we 
We've got our signal fires set up here. Get some meat cooking. We will get our club equipped. And then hopefully nobody wanders down to the beach. Nah, dog, where are you going? You ain't using me as bait. We'll go ahead and give it a save. And then we'll go ahead and give it a sleep. Calvin, why are you climbing on top of the shelters? Alright, so looking at it, looks like the night pretty much went by uneventful. Nobody came to investigate our little fires. So we got that going for us. Kelvin, let me talk to you. Stay here at shelter. No. All right, Kelvin, hold on the fort. Some turtle eggs. And a baby turtle hatched. Excellent. Alright, so we're gonna attempt to swim out here to this. We save the game in case anything bad happens. We're gonna go and check it out. I'm a little bit worried about uh, sharks, but not super worried. Uh, now I'm a little bit more worried about sharks. I'm a little bit more worried about sharks. There it is. Okay, uh, we need to find out where that just went. We also need to eat. Came back with friends, my guy. Yeah, you're done. Bus bat. <laughs> All right. So it is time for us to make a swim for it. I don't know if we can harvest anything from this absolutely massive shark, but, uh, yeah, let's go. Whew. Big fella, told you to leave me be. I look like a seal in the water. I'm wearing dark clothing. The shark had to go. It had to. There was no option. Alright, one shot. 
shallower water now, so we should be, in theory, safe from the shark. <laughs> So we've got the pistol now. That's only going to be for emergency situations. We're going to save again. Alright. So first things first, let's go get some water. Uh, let's actually check our rounds for the pistol here. Got shotgun ammo, but I'm not seeing very much pistol ammo at all okay so pistols going away that's for bad days uh, we are gonna come out here and uh, get some water and then we are gonna check out maybe a little bit further inland I kinda wanna check out those green points of interest And uh, we'll go from there. We've still got some energy bars. That's that all filled up. venture forth go and check out some points of interest So yeah, I am once again struck by how pretty this uh, this game is. Because there's no other way to put it. This is just a good looking game. Follow this uh, path here. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do this, gentlemen. Or gentlewomans. If you want war, I'll give you war. Looks like they're leaving us alone. We'll continue. Yeah! Okay. I thought they were leaving us alone. Yeah! Bro, you're about to get it. There's three of them. We need to find somewhere where we can defend ourselves. At least out in the open. I don't like being around the trees.
stay low. Let them pass. If one of them gets close, we're swinging. We're swinging, 100%. There's one off to my left and three in front of me. Yep. We can play this game. Oh, they can climb the trees? We can play this game. I'm gonna win. Oh, there's five. Oh, there's five. We gotta go. We gotta go. How far do we make it from the coast? Not too far. Maybe they left us alone. We'll cross a little bit further up. And uh, we'll go from there. They're not overtly hostile yet. So I would much rather keep the pistol rounds for something that is just... Overtly hostile. Overtly hostile towards me. But like I said, they weren't. So I mean... Still got a couple of hours. Before it's too late in the day there. There's something up here is what it's saying. Cart here. I just heard something shift behind me. Uh, I mean, we can check out the cave. Can I make a torch? Yeah, we just need cloth, which we don't have any of. Corridor of some kind. I'm hearing something that's a Roomba. All right, so we got some supplies. Three D printer. Sled, arrows, flask.
I'm gonna go ahead and hit a save here. Crossbow bolts. What else can we make? Grappling hooks, tech mesh. Don't know what we can do with tech mesh, but we'll do it. Ugh. I want to get my good old club back out. On another energy bar. I don't know where that tech mesh just went. armor okay need twine duct tape and batteries I got batteries That's all of our 3D resin. A sled? We'll make a sled. Whatever. It's just a little baby sled out of the printer. <laughs> My little tech deck. Didn't think that one through, so let's uh, continue on our journey here. Roomba? <sighs> Sorry, Roomba. Is that ice? Uh, we're in a scientific hallway of some sort. Conspiracy theories. We do not have the key card for that. So we are going to come back. It looks like this was extended out of the wall. Alright, so it looks like we're done here, but we'll keep this place in mind. What time is it? It's 12.57 in-game. So, that's an interesting little find. If we find more uh, printer resin, we need to come back. We'll go ahead and give it another save because we made some stuff. This is only on normal difficulty. I'm not sure what hard looks like. It's That's kind of a scary thought. So we've got that one. Uh, looks like a little bit further up there's another cave entrance. I think we head back to Kelvin and we continue along the coast. <laughs> so that was a really cool find. That was really good for us. Uh, when we get back to Kevin, Kev <laughs> he's just going to be Kevin. He's not doing Kelvin. He's just Kevin. Uh, so we have a very sleepy man right here. Oh, that's good. We do like the, uh, the pistol ammo. Another grenade. Two more grenades and a little bit more C4. Little rabbit. We 
need to follow this to the left. We gotta go check on Kevin. Make sure he is okay. And then uh, we'll probably cut this one for today. And uh, keep on keeping on. I will probably continue to film uh, or post the next episode tomorrow. So if you're interested in this, there's a lot more coming. Because I'm scared. <laughs> and I want to keep playing. It's not very often that a game can get an audible response out of me. And uh, that did it. probably work on fortifying the position that we have set up here so far and then we will uh, go from there he's like I'm not doing anything wrong I'm by the tents I swear I've been by the tents the whole time All right, so that is it for now, ladies and gentlemen. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one. Stay safe.